Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we will look at important timelines from ORAN Alliance, understand the ORAN software community and the role it plays in ORAN and finally we will look at the ORAN open source software release. So let's dive straight into it. The ORAN Alliance was announced at MWC 2018. We have discussed in our earlier video that it was formed by a merger of two different organizations, namely CRAN Alliance and XRAN Forum. CRAN Alliance consisted of China Mobile and a lot of other Chinese vendors. On the other hand, the XRAN Forum consisted of US, European, Japanese and South Korean vendors and operators. AT&T, China Mobile, Deutsche Telekom, NTT Docomo and Orange were the initial founding operators. Since then, a lot more operators, vendors, integrators, etc. have joined. Then in around September-October 2018, the first ORAN white paper towards an open and smart RAN was published. This laid out ORAN Alliance's vision that brought a lot of newer organizations to ORAN Alliance to drive the truly open and smart RAN vision. The ORAN Alliance was officially launched at this point in October of 2018. The first specifications were published just in time for Mobile World Congress in February 2019. The open front hall specifications comprising of control, user, synchronization and management plane protocols were released. In our earlier video, we explained that the front hall and X2 are the most important interfaces for achieving a truly open RAN. Then in April of 2018, ORAN Alliance started a preliminary discussion with Linux Foundation. Then in October 2018, Open Source Focus Group was formed within ORAN Alliance. Finally, on the 2nd of April 2019, the ORAN software community was officially set up. Let us briefly understand OSC or the Open RAN software community. The ORAN software community is a collaboration between the ORAN Alliance and Linux Foundation with the mission to support the creation of software for the radio access network or RAN. It is exclusively sponsored by ORAN Alliance to develop open source software to realize ORAN components and systems. The ORAN software initiatives are focused on aligning a software reference implementation with the ORAN Alliance's open architecture and specifications. The ORAN SC Technical Oversight Committee TOC, is responsible for all technical oversight of the software community. The aim is to achieve a solution that can be utilized to unify and accelerate the evolution and deployment in the RAN. The community has been set up to not only promote open source but also to address wireless technology support for essential patents. Here are the currently active OSC projects. We won't have time to detail this here, but for anyone interested, they could find all the relevant information on the ORAN wiki. The first OSC software code release called Amber was released in December 2019. It included initial contributions across 11 software projects. ORAN Alliance boasted that it contained more than 1 million lines of code with contributions of over 60 developers from more than 10 companies. It covered initial functionality of near real-time RIC, the O1 interface and the protocol stack. The second OSC software code release called Bronze was released in June 2020. It added support for new key elements of the ORAN architecture and updates aligned with the latest ORAN specifications. 
It contained over 3 million lines of code with contributions of over 80 developers from more than 15 companies. This release covered major advancements to OSC projects including ODU, OCU, A1 interface in the non-real-time rig and O1 interface. The third and the most recent release is called Cherry, which was released back in December 2020. On top of new functions aligned with the latest ORAN specifications such as the E2, A1 and O1 interfaces, this release also features significant advancements in the end-to-end -end integration of ORAN architecture components to meet the needs of early adopters. In addition, new software projects in the area of service management and orchestration SMO, have been initiated to drive the development of auto configuration and management of ORAN elements. Over 2.5 million lines of new and updated code was added with contributions from over 60 people from over 10 companies. This is how a typical OSC code release looks like. This information was provided in a blog post on the ORAN website. Each release is typically accompanied by such a release to help the ORAN community understand what new stuff or updates were released as part of the code. The next release is planned for June or July of this year. We don't know much except that it is called the D-release or Dawn release. Hopefully, you have noticed the pattern already that each release is following the alphabet sequence. Similarly, the release planned in December is known as E-release at the moment. It will be assigned a name after the D-release. So we hope this short video explained the timelines, the ORAN software community and the releases. Let us know what you think. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Goodbye.